for their kids' college can now use part of their investment to offset the cost of private school. This new federal tax law will allow families with the 529 plans to withdraw money tax-free for private K-12 through expenses. State lawmakers passed legislation in March to allow Arkansas parents to do just this. Care for us, Jess Tino, joining us now in the studio with how the change has impacted enrollment, Jess. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, so the state treasurer's office oversees these plans. Its records show more accounts were created before the change this year than after. One parent shares why he started saving right after his daughter was born. Three Big Macs at McDonald's, two grande lattes at Starbucks, one sandwich meal at Jimmy John's, all cost about $10 a piece. For the same amount, you could deposit the minimum monthly payment into your kid's college fund. College is so expensive, it's getting more expensive all the time, and the earlier you start, the easier it is. David Ray's daughter, Charlotte, just turned one, but already has money put aside for her education. My wife and I set up a 529 account for her the same week we got her social security number. The 529 plan allows families to withdraw their investments tax-free as long as they are spent on higher education expenses, like tuition and room and board. If you can make a, a step toward providing your daughter a debt-free college experience, why wouldn't you want to do that for your kid? But parents like Ray can now withdraw up to $10,000 from their 529 accounts every year for private school. 2018 data from the state treasurer's office shows the amount of new plans open before the state legislature made the change actually more than doubles the ones created after. Spokesperson Stacy Peterson says there's no way to track if families withdraw their savings for private K-12 through or higher ed expenses. So that's not something we've made a final decision on. Ray and his wife have several years to choose private or public school for Charlotte and many more to decide if the funds will help send her to a four or two year college or technical school. The more options you have, um, you know, the better you can you can provide for for your kid. And one of the biggest arguments against this recent change was how it could affect public school funding. The Arkansas Department of Finance and Administration had projected the legislation would cost the state up to five million a year in tax revenue. Now an exact dollar amount so far remains to be seen. Back to you. All right, Jesse, thanks.